This video will be a continuation in our series on the spinal cord and we are going to be covering a monosynaptic reflex called our stretch reflex. Remember that a monosynaptic reflex is going to have only one synapse. That synapse is going to be between the sensory neuron and our motor neuron. So our sensory neuron is going to come all the way down to our anterior gray horn to synapse directly to a motor neuron. So basically, in this reflex, our stimulus is going to be a sudden stretching of our muscle. Our receptor is called a muscle spindle. This muscle spindle, we'll see in the next slide, is located inside of your skeletal muscle. So then that information gets carried into our spinal cord and our motor command is going to contract that muscle to keep us from falling down. So you have all experienced this. If you remember, at least this happened to me when I was in junior high, when you stand with all of your weight on one leg and your knee locked and the other knee is cocked and then you have a friend that comes up and pops out your um, knee by pushing on the back of it and then your knee suddenly gives way which is our sudden stretching and then we straighten our leg to prevent ourselves from falling over. That's all we're doing with our stretch reflex. So let's take a look at some of those details. So our muscle spindles are stretch receptors that are located in many of our skeletal muscles. These are going to provide our brain with proprioceptive information for the maintenance of muscle tone, posture, coordinated movement, and corrective reflexes. So as we can see here, our muscle spindle is going to be embedded in our skeletal muscle. Then we have some sensory neurons whose dendrites are wrapped around what are called intrafusal fibers. These intrafusal fibers are going to monitor the length of that skeletal muscle. And these intrafusal fibers are actually always sending information to our spinal cord. When our muscle is relaxed, we are going to send a steady amount of signals to our spinal cord. So we can see while our muscle is contracting, we're not sending very many signals. But if our muscle stretches, then we increase the amount of signals we are sending, telling our spinal cord we are doing some stretching. When that occurs, unexpectedly, so without your brain taking over, then that is when you initiate the stretch reflex and you do that by causing contraction. Now this seems like a really simple act, and it is. We have our muscle spindle which receives information, carries it into our spinal cord, and we go straight to our motor neuron which causes contraction of that muscle. However, you can see that our sensory neuron branches and we're going to go to other interneurons which are going to have a antagonistic effect on our reciprocal muscles. So even monosynaptic reflexes are not as simple as they look. If you have any questions regarding monosynaptic reflexes, please do not hesitate to contact your instructor.